What's up guys? NBA Talk for February 26, 2018. Monday basketball for you. We got like two games to talk about tonight. Um, one including the Toronto Raptors versus the Detroit Pistons game. We'll be talking about after this one. So here it is, the New York Knicks game versus the Golden State Warriors, which... Is already a it, it was already a given thing before even the game started. Uh, it's just how we're gonna get beat down, and we did get beat down, but we played very very good um, in the first half at least. Like we were very competitive, um, but in the end, it was just the Golden State Warriors beating us. They're the top guns in the league. It is what it is, man. And plus, we're tanking, so. I have no emotion for that whatsoever. It, it is to be. Going to say Warriors win this game 125 to 111. Um, so, yeah, um, <laughs> there's nothing really to it. Stephen Curry and company just spanked us. Um, Stephen Curry dropping 21 points, five rebounds, five assists, eight for 16 from the field, made four three pointers. Uh, Clay Thompson also made four three-pointers. He was 9 for 13 from the field. 26 points, four rebounds, five assists. Uh, ja ja McGee, I'm going to say that. Uh, JaVel McGee, 10 points, three, re three rebounds, three assists. I was mad a little bit when he made that fade shot on Kyle Quinn. Kevin Durant, 22 points, nine rebounds, four assists, and 10 points, six assists, Three rebounds and two block shots from Draymond Green. And then you got David West dropping 11 points. Nine points from Andre Iguodala. Zaza Pekilia got seven points and he's in controversy, you know. I might talk about him tomorrow because it was very heavy today about Zaza's um, altercation with Russell Westbrook, so to speak. It was not really an altercation because they didn't confront each other that way, but... Is, is brought up so much controversy behind that situation. Um, the team shot 51% from the field, 48% from the three-point range, 43 rebounds, 31 assists, eight steals, five block shots, and only 12 turnovers. Um, so, yeah, uh, they really kicked in, in high gear in the third quarter. That's where they just like, all right, time to finish you off. And then the fourth quarter was just a repeat of that, and we just, it was over. By the end of the third quarter, it was pretty much over. Um, so, yeah. The Knicks, uh, we got to see more of fresh faces, the newer talent, uh, younger talent to play out. Emmanuel Moutier is the top guy for that. Uh, playing 31 minutes, dropping 20 points, 7 assists, 2 rebounds, 2 steals, and a block shot. No turnovers which is absolutely excellent for him. Of course, the defense needs some work. He needs to work on that defense because Stephen Curry was killing him. Uh, but he did a good job on the offensive end, man. Uh, Ennis Kenter only played for 17 minutes, 10 points, 7 rebounds. Courtney Lee only played for 11 minutes, 0 points. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr., 14 points, 4 assists. And Michael Beasley with only 2 points, 1 for 7 from the field. But, of course, where the action really came out was from the bench. Um, Lance Thomas, 11 points. Uh, Kyle Quinn, who had a good impact tonight, 14 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, Frightening the killer had a definite good game. 13 points, 5 rebounds, and assists. 6 for 12 from the field. And then the boy again, Trey Burke, 18 points, 5 assists, and a rebound. He was eight for fifteen, uh, eighteen from fifteen from the field. Uh, Twenty-five minutes played. So yeah, and Trey Burke becomes a free agent after this season. So that's something to look at. Um, so yeah, forty-nine percent from the field, forty percent from the three-point range, thirty-nine rebounds, twenty-eight assists, and fourteen turnovers. So. It was a very good game for us, even though it was a big, it was a blowout in the end. But we played very good throughout two and a half quarters because it was from the top, from the third quarter was pretty decent, and then 
the second half of the third quarter, it was just just a spanking of a lifetime. So Knicks fall to 24 and 38. Uh, we lose another game at home. We're still in the positives. We're still at 500 in at home, 16 and 14. So hey, uh, Golden State Warriors 23 and seven on the road, 47 and 14 record. So they're approaching 50 games, 50 game wins. So it is. It won't be. It will be a matter of time before they clinch the playoffs pretty soon. So that's it for this video. More to come. Peace.